These are Gateron Baby Kangaroo Switches from Nufi, and they're one of my favorite switches. Here's how they sound on my Bacon Echo 60 from Canon Keys. If you follow this channel for a while, you know that I am usually team linear. I love linear switches, but recently a couple of tactile switches have really won me over to the other side, and the baby kangaroos are one of them. These were sent over by Nufi for review, thank you Nufi, and you can buy them on Nufi's website which I will have linked below. It's about $66 for a pack of 110 and they even come with this really nice plastic storage box. I wish a lot more switches came with a storage box like this. If you're interested in the specs I'll have them on the screen here. It has a palm stem, the top housing is polycarbonate, and the bottom housing is PA66. It features a 22mm two-staged spring and they're pre-lubed from the factory. I find them to be pretty consistent and pleasant, I felt no need to do anything to these. This is my current main keyboard, which is the Tiger 80 Lite from KBD fans. I was using the baby kangaroos in this until I changed to another switch and unfortunately I forgot to record a typing test. These switches were a real son of a gun to put into the back of Neko, so I'm not gonna switch back. For now, here's Here's a simple sound comparison between these, my new favorite switch, which is the Bad Seed Tactile, shout out to Bad Seed Tech, and a more readily available and popular tactile switch, the Glorious Panda. The Kangaroo and Bad Seed Tactile switches are both stock, and the Panda is lubed with Crytox 205 grade 0 because it's all I had. I'm not going to go into them too much in this video, but the Bad Seed Tactile switches are the ones that I swapped out in my Tiger 80, partially because the color just really matched my Tiger 80, even though they're covered in keycaps, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, it matters, right? Like, you get it. If you're watching this, you, you, can't, you get it. But those are not currently readily available, and honestly, even though I prefer those, these are really close. Not quite there, not quite as punchy and as tactile, but super close. These are among the most tactile switches that I have felt. They have a really satisfying tactile feeling, more so in my opinion than the Glorious Pandas. The Glorious Pandas are already a step above like Gateron Browns if those are the only tactile switches you've used, and these are above even those. Little side note, Nufi did send me a nice little wrist rest with the switches and they wanted me to talk about that as well doesn't really fit into its own video, I mean it's just a wrist rest, but as long as we're talking about Nufi stuff, I figured I'd talk about it here. I'm not sure what the clear part is made of, I don't think it's resin because it looks too clear, And but I could be wrong and just not know things about materials. It's weighty though, it's heavy and it's solid, it feels really good, it doesn't feel like glass, I think it's some kind of plastic. And this black part at the base appears to be aluminum, it definitely gets cold like metal when it's cold in my room. It's got some rubber stops on the bottom and some Nufi branding along the top and I've been using it for a few months now and it's kind of taken over as my favorite wrist rest. The reason I'm demoing these switches in the Bakken Echo 60 and the Tiger 80 in this video are because they're both readily available, they're both fairly affordable, and really, really good for the price as far as custom keyboards go. But if you're looking at these switches and you're not looking for a new keyboard, you're not looking at a custom keyboard, you have something maybe a little bit more budget friendly, more Amazon attainable. As long as that keyboard is hot swappable with five pin switches, because these are five pin switches, then these will work on that keyboard and they may enhance your tactile typing experience as well as the sound of whatever keyboard it is you're going to be using. Don't expect miracles if the board itself is not great is all I'm saying. You should, you probably, you, you understand that, right? Something's wrong with my backspace, I don't know. And that's about all for this video. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and just do those sound tests. And uh, yeah, I like these switches a lot. And I think if you're looking for a readily in-stock switch that is a little bit 
expensive sure i'll give you that but it is a fine tactile experience if you really want a hard tactile switch that's not going to be super hard to type on not super fatiguing but give you that punchy experience of typing on a really tactile switch without being a loud clicky switch honestly these are great again i will have links for everything i mentioned in this video and even some things i didn't mention i've always got affiliate links in the description for you to check out and you should check them out because there's all kinds of keyboard goodies in case you're shopping for keyboards or keyboard accessories and they allow for things like this new lens that I purchased that lets me zoom in like this and just get real nice and close in here with you. How you doing? I hope you're having a fine whatever day you're watching this and uh, that you're having a good time talking about keyboards with your friends. Stay safe, stay in school, and uh, you know, hugs not drugs. All right, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you feel like sticking around. Hit the like button if you like the video, dislike it if you didn't like it, and leave a comment telling me one way or the other. Just be respectful to me, to others, to each other, and most importantly, to yourself, because you deserve it. All right, if you want to watch another video, you can check them out over here. I've got a couple here, and you can click here on my face to subscribe. Doodly doo doo. All right, I'm out of here.